Hello, welcome to my craft studio. I wanted to share some of the um, silk ribbon flowers and uh, millinery techniques that I'm using to make some of these flowers and this will just kind of be an introductory video and then I'll share with you all some uh, methods on how I put the flowers together and, and dyeing the ribbon and that type of thing. But anyway, welcome to my studio. I'll just kind of give you an overview of some things and by the way you can probably tell I am from the south so this will be a southern video. Here, this is an unfinished cuff that I'm working on. I tea dyed this lace and this ribbon and all of this. Um, here's another one. All of this um, I start by hand dyeing all the ribbon and here's some ribbon that I dyed last night some pretty spring colors. So The two-tone flowers really are the prettiest. If you can tell, I don't know if you can see the detail in this flower, but it's even though the the color variations are subtle, it's a lot prettier than say this flower <clears throat> that doesn't have any shading. The, so I like to try to make my ribbons two-tone so that you get just the subtle color variations. Here's a, a French cuff that I've got finished. That's also tea dyed. A lot of the things I do, I do on crinoline. That's how they were originally done. And then um, they were sewn onto dresses or hats or whatever. And so for cleaning, you could just, they were just basted on and then you just snipped the threads and clean the garment and then you could tack them back on. And that's why a lot of these antique things have survived over the years because they weren't sewn onto the garments, they weren't made into the garments, they were sewn on afterwards so people carefully took them on and off. And so a lot of these things have survived. But <clears throat> this is just a wire that I've wrapped thread around and then made my flowers on that and then you'll just snip around. Let me show you. Well, here's one that I've made into a necklace. And so I made this on the crinolin and then backed it with the felt. Here's another one you can see with the crinoline cut away. So you can take these and put snaps on them and snap them on the collars or onto, <clears throat> you can also glue them on hat boxes and on, you know, you could use it as a corner embellishment on a frame or on a lampshade or whatever, but there maybe you can see some of the detail. And this is what I was telling you with the variations of color. But let me show you, a lot of times what I do <clears throat> is make up bags of flower pieces and parts and have those ready and then you can just create little little collections like this. For example, here's a little flower that I've started and already attached to the crinoline and then here are the little leaves and you can see how quickly, if you have your pieces done, they can come together and right there that would be very cute on a little child's dress or on a hair barrette or a bracelet or whatever here's another little thing that I think would be cute for a baby boy in a scrapbook or and then so you can see how you can just build these and add additional parts and pretty soon you will have something more like this. And then this could be used as a bib necklace or um, this could be cut out and used even at the um, top of a, of a blouse or uh, if you did a collection of these you could use them around the base of a skirt. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you what I was doing and this has got some vintage German flower stamens. This is going to be a cuff. This is, I've already put this together. Here's another cuff. This is more, this is a silk ribbon with more of a silk ribbon embroidery technique. These are actually more of a, of a millinery flower technique. But that gives you some ideas and I would love it if you have any questions I'll try to answer them and if you visit my Etsy site um, 
Lambs and Ivy designs. This has got some crystal in it. And so anyway, so welcome to my studio. When I get everything cleaned up, then I'll have you back and show you some other techniques. But this was just a quick overview. So I would love it if you have any questions, as I say, be sure to ask. Thank you.